Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for thanks for being a part of my page, my Patreon. We're going to be talking about opening day for uh, NBA. Well, not opening day, but restart day. Um, we have the Jazz versus the Pelicans on the board, and we have the Clippers, Clipper, Clippers versus Lakers. Uh, I'm going to talk about both of these games for Thursday. Uh, first matchup, uh, we're looking at Jazz and the Pelicans. So the good thing about this is that we already have records for the season, basically. So we're not starting off at 0-0, which makes it difficult. But that doesn't mean it's still not going to be difficult. It's just we have a little bit more to work with than we do with baseball right now. Um, but for the Jazz and the Pelicans, as of right now, I am liking the Jazz to win this game. Um, I think Jazz are a bit of an underdog. Uh, ESPN shows home and away records. So if they're going to keep track of the home and away records, even though they're going to be at Walt Disney World, um, we're just going to roll with it. You know, it's home and away on paper. It may not be physically home and away, but it's home and away on paper. Um, but yeah, so Jazz, they come into this game uh, with 41 wins for the season. 41 date numerology on the Gregorian. 57 date numerology as well. And their coach can get his 269th regular season win. 269 is the 57th prime number. 41 date numerology. They come in with 41 wins. 41 is the 13th prime number. Jazz can stay on 13 away losses. They can become a 3 and 1 head to head against Pelicans in their last head to head matchup regular season. For the Jazz or for the Pelicans, it'll look like 1 3, like 13. And then Pelicans would be sitting on 13 home wins. So we have this 13, 13, 13 pattern a little bit. Um, you know, you can say, well, 14 date numerology, 14th away, 14th home. True, that's there. Um, but I'm looking for this 41 to pop and these 13 to stay. Um, but that's just what I'm thinking right now. Uh, and then for the Pelicans, Pel Pelicans come into this game with 28 wins on the season and it's their 33rd home game. Today is the ninth day or the day of this game is the ninth day of the 11th month on the Hebrew civil, like 9-11. 28 sums to 156 33 sums to 156 and 911 is the 156 prime number so on the ninth day of the 11th month pelicans could stay on 28 wins in their 33rd home game both summing to 156 911 the 156 prime number Pelicans would get their 37th loss for the season. Hebrew Civil has 157 date numerology. 157 is a 37th prime number. It also has 31 date numerology, as in Jazz becoming 3 and 1 head to head against Pelicans. As Pelicans get their 37th loss, sitting on 28 wins in the 33rd home game. Pelicans, as a home record, would become 13 20, which kind of looks like a 132. And 37 sums to 132. And in regards to them getting their 20th home loss, 20 equals 28, as well as 107, the 28th prime, sitting on 28 wins for the season. Uh, and then also... Hebrew Civil has 40 date numerology, so 31, 40, and 157. 40 date numerology. The coach for the Pelicans is sitting on 173 regular season wins, the 40th prime, where he can stay at, potentially. Uh, and, that's, and that's about what I'm looking at for this one right now. I'll continue to look at it, of course, throughout the week. Um, but this is what, what I'm kind of thinking about. Kind of thinking Jazz over Pelicans for the first one. Um, Jazz can get their 42nd win as they get their 39th all-time head-to-head win. 
42 sums to 142. 39 sums to 142. So they have some gametia in common. 23, 39, 42, 23. What is 62? 43, 61. So 62 equals 38, 43, 42 equals 43, 38, 42 equals 142, 39 equals 142. So there's a little bit of play there. 39, 61, 62, 61. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have anything different or anything to add. Um, again, I'll continue to look over this. It may or may not change come Thursday, but as of right now, Tuesday, um, the 28th, I'm liking the Jazz. So let's look at the Clippers and the Lakers. Clippers, Lakers. You know, Clippers and Lakers, I made a post about this on my Patreon weeks back about how this game's the 74th season overall. ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex equals 373, the 74th prime number. And then Lakers coming in, sitting on 74 all-time losses against Clippers, or Clippers sitting on 74 all-time head-to-head wins against Lakers, or however you want to see it. Um, and I think that might stay there for the first game. They might just sit on that 74. Uh, we have the Clippers and the Lakers playing their last head-to-head -head game for the season. And the only reason they're playing this last head-to-head -head game for the season, they actually would have played this in January. But they didn't because of the death of Kobe Bryant. It was supposed to be a home game, Lakers versus Clippers, the week, the, the same week after uh, Kobe Bryant passed away. And so they postponed this game. And then they were supposed to play it in March. But before they would play it in March, the coronavirus took place. So if you ever were looking for a Kobe Bryant ritual stat, I mean, this would be it. Lakers win. They become 24-8 and eight for a home record on paper. 24-8, Kobe Bryant, 24-8. You know, he wore the number 24 and 8, I believe. Those are his numbers. Uh, Kobe Bryant numbers, 24-8. Yeah, those are his numbers. Number 8, number 24. Uh, Kobe Bryant. 157, 41. 41 date numerology on the Gregorian. 157 on the Hebrew Civil. I mean, if there ever was, and I'm following the Hebrew Civil for this one, really, mostly. Uh, it's the 305th day of the year. Lakers coach is sitting on 305 regular season losses where he can stay. 31 date numerology on the Hebrew Civil. Lakers can become 3-1 and head-to-head -head against the Clippers, like 31. It's a day leaving 50 left in the Hebrew Civil year. Lakers looking for their, their 50th win for the season. It's their 64th game of the season. 64 sums to 157. And 50. 157 date numerology, day leaving 50 left, 305th day, 31. So I'm liking the Lakers here. Clippers would stay on 44 wins for the season in their fourth head-to-head -head and last game, head-to-head -head against the Lakers, 444. I don't know if 421 is anything, 4421. I don't think so. Oh, the 601st prime, 110th prime. One four seven sixty six two oh four sixty. I don't know. Nothing jumps, but um I mean it's the Clippers thirty third game. Away game, thirty three sums to one fifty six, nine eleven the hundred and fifty six prime, nine eleven, thirty one, one fifty seven, three oh five, fifty, three oh five. 50, 64 sums to 157, 31, 33 equals 156, 911, the 156 prime. That's kind of what I'm, I'm kind of, you know, heading towards. That's what I'm thinking. 
uh, you guys have anything different, anything to add, uh, definitely let me know. Uh, we'll continue to look at 679. Let's see if that's a prime. 679. No. 1617. Yeah, so 1617 here. So it's the coach's 1617 or 1617 the regular season game for the Clippers, the 33rd pentagonal number, 1617. 33rd away game, 33 sums to 156, 911 the 156 prime, 31 date numerology, 150, 157 date, 305, 50. All right, so I'm going to keep looking at both these games. This is what I'm thinking right now, Jazz and Lakers. This could change come Thursday, but this is just what I have for right now. Comments, questions below, concerns, and we'll make something happen come Thursday. Thanks, guys.